Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video and I'm here to give you my quick review. It's going to be a quick review because yeah, you don't want to hear me talk for too long. No one does. Uh, for Scream 6, I just saw it yesterday and uh, I really enjoyed Scream 5 or just Scream 5 Cream if you're naughty. Um, that's what I call it. Uh, but this time they actually put a number on it. Thank you. And they did what they should did last year. They should have called Scream 5 and then put the V where the M is, you know, right in the middle. But they did it this time with the V and then... What are they going to do with the next one? Are they going to put just an extra... Are they going to just color all of the M in so it looks like it has two Roman numerals? You know what I mean? For seven? Or Oh, no, no, wait, hold on. Wait, where can they put an actual seven? Can they put a seven in somewhere? Hold on. Screw this review. I need to figure this out. Uh, Can they fit a seven somewhere? Like the number seven in one of these. I don't... I guess they can maybe kind of do it with the M? No, it's not going to work. How about, how about, how about, can, can we, can we, can we spell out the word seven? Like we have the S red, the E red, the V red in the M and then just put another E and N. That would, that would be the worst looking thing. They better not do that. Anyway, uh, that's my review for Scream 6. I hope you enjoyed it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is going to be a quick review, like I said. So I'm going to get right to it. Um, short quality of video here you know youtube short is going to be the kind of quality you expect in this video okay so let's get to it i like the last one ready or not guys really liked ready or not they directed that movie then they directed this and they directed the last one and uh i thought it was very faithful for to Wes craven's original vision it was very meta and stuff this one less meta but still meta but they're taking it in a different direction they even moved to new york which is a good setting for this i think it works actually for the most part even though at times it doesn't even feel like they're really in New York at times. Because they're like, oh, let's go to this area where it's just a big building. I'm like, alright. Uh, I would have liked it to really heavily feature New York a little bit more. Considering the marketing is all about like New York, new rules and all that stuff. Um, but they, they, they do. But towards the end of the movie, it doesn't really matter where they are anymore. They're just in a area. You know what I mean? So... I uh, really like the new setting though. I think they do use it well enough for the first hour and a half at least. Um, uh, the kills are brutal. Um, there, there's a opening intro scene, which uh, the screen movies are always notorious for their pretty damn good intro scenes that I actually really liked. I thought the intro was very, very good and very different. Uh, had some great moments in there too. Um, and, uh, a much more brutal ghost face. I feel like it, 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 like even compared to like maybe even four, which was one of the more brutal ones. Uh, this one, like just straight up, like screw up a knife i'm gonna use a shotgun screw i'm just gonna kick down this door i'm gonna fucking start firing and i really like that i actually like that we got a more vicious ghost face in this one um the characters are still likable there's of course, of course some returning ones and some new characters for the most part they're all likable i really liked uh, melissa barraro i think that's how you pronounce her name uh much more in this one than i did in the last one i thought she was was fine i i didn't love or hate her i thought she was fine in it i thought she was much better in this one uh the grief and guilt and and even the the pestering of all these people about what happened in the last movie um you could tell like it's actually affecting her and and even like the dark side of her past uh is still affecting her and i thought she did a really good job with that uh jenna ortega has the sister she's really good as well i think everybody does a great job Han Han uh, hayden panettiere returns of course as kirby from the fourth one which was she was probably my favorite character in that movie and it was good good to see her back they don't use her i think enough I, I would like to see her more but uh she was good. Uh, some of the other uh, new characters you got Dormant Moroni, who I actually really like. That guy, he comes in as a detective that's kind of following the case. Um, uh, a couple other new characters. You got a, like a roommate character and who's kind of a slutty character, so you know she ain't gonna live for much longer. They got like a nerdy character. You got a uh, um, what's his name, Flash Thompson from the Spider Man mo uh, movies. He's in there. Um, oh, Samara Weaving, love her. I did, I actually I don't think I realized she was in this or I forgot she was in this. I guess I just never saw this poster because love Samara Weaving. Ooh, and you know, back after Ready or Not, she's great in pretty much everything. I love Samara Weaving. Anyway, so it was cool to see her. Um, and yeah, the acting's good. The writing, for the most part, is actually pretty funny. Some of the characters that actually the characters that kind of annoyed me in the last movie didn't annoy me too much in this one. I think they actually flushed them out a little bit more and actually gave them a little bit more to do i feel like um like chad i thought he was a better character in this one um i forgot her name um 
the uh, Mindy, Mindy uh, Meeks, right? Because uh, she's uh, uh, Randy's uh, cousin, right? Or something like that. Or nephew. Or, or niece, sorry. Um, and I thought she was much better in this one than she was in the last one. I thought she was kind of annoying in the last one. I thought she was much better in this one. Um, and uh, yeah, the kills are brutal. Very violent. Creative, surprisingly. I thought it was going to be a lot of just knife stabs, which you do get, but they, they get pretty vicious. Um, I like the setting. Uh, the writing itself is pretty decent. Uh, my main problem, though, is the reveal of the ki killer. Uh, I, ju I, I really didn't like it because I feel like they were building it up to be something a little bit different. And it ended up just being kind of the same thing that you expect from Scream. Uh, not the best reveal, especially since when it's revealed who it is, the actor portraying this villain goes from pretty good to laughable i think that's me personal i personally i just thought the acting <laughs> took a nose dive i was like laughing I'm like is this supposed to be like every time a killer is revealed they go they go from like pretty normal to like hey you know <laughs> so which is could sh should be fun but at that point in the movie i'm like oh man it's like actually tense i'm like oh this character is this character like who who's actually the character you know how scream does that like you think it's this character this character this character everybody's like pointing the fingers at each other it's like fucking spider-man meme um and then just like when, when it's revealed and then and they're just going oh, evil. <laughs> and then uh, I, I just i don't know I, I find it ridiculous um to the point where i couldn't really enjoy it as much as i was before i just i think the reveal was disappointing personally i would have liked it to be like one time just like just a, something different I, I don't know i'm not the writer of these movies i don't get paid millions of dollars to come up with this shit okay i'm just saying I didn't care for it personally, um, but it did have a decent wrap up for the most part. So even though I didn't like the reveal, um, the wrap up itself is okay. Um, there's still a lot of logic issues too. Just characters doing dumb shit, which I, I feel like at this point, like you shouldn't be doing this. Like you just, you just hit the, the, the bad guy, the ghost face, um, with something and they're seemingly knocked down. Don't run away. Pick up the fucking thing and just fucking motherfucker, you know, just destroy them. Like, curb stomp them. That's why I immediately will be fucking jumping on the motherfucker. <laughs> I get it. You don't want to get too close. You might use the knife. And certain characters do end up trying to do something, but they always do it in like the slowest way possible. Like, I'm going to smash your head. And then, of course, Ghostface gets up and stabs. I'm like, if you just were quicker or like stepped on the, the fucking hand that held the, the knife or like threw something at his fucking head first. Or something. Like, I don't know. It, it, all these thoughts, like, like I have something here. I could get near him, but he has a knife. How about I just throw out the fucking head? You just keep throwing shit. <laughs> I don't know. It's stupid shit, I know. It doesn't matter, but... Uh, anyway, I, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed my time still, even though thoughts like that were coming uh, in and out of my brain. <sighs> I, I still enjoyed it. So, And also, Courtney Cox is good. She's not in it too much, but she was good. It, it, she wasn't a shoehorned... She wasn't as shoehorned as I was expecting her to feel... Um, I still think they did a disservice by doing what they did with a certain character in the last movie. I felt like, eh, especially considering how they died, it was very, very underwhelming. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe they were expecting that to be one of the last ones. Like, oh, we're doing, well, just in case it's one of the last ones. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Oh, I guess I should give it a score. I'll give it, I'll give it 7.5. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Anyway, that's it. Bye.